I've never seen y'all be like, yo, I got this Kente, yo. I got this Kente line, you know. My boy Amadou, he's selling these Kentes. They fly. Black owned, African owned. Let's wear our own. Stop doing this European shit. Only when it comes to hair, the European fashion shouldn't. We shouldn't do European fashion when it comes to hair. <laughs> my channel mother suckers hey i am Elo. i'm feeling real totally spies real power puff girl real scuba diver ish it's a little hot though let's give you just, just a little chestage welcome to the littest side of youtube where you're gonna get looks you're gonna get tea and you're definitely gonna get facts now i have a lot of new subscribers so i have a psa for you check this out it's gonna come a moment when you are not gonna like me you're going to be highly, highly pissed off with me. And you are going to want to fight me. <laughs> I give you permission to do all of that. Because in the end, I'm going to win. I mean, it is what it is. Opinions are like buttholes. We all have one. But hopefully, it's clean. Okay, so you guys know I take suggestions and the things that you want to talk about, I talk about here on my channel. So be sure that you are following me on Instagram so you can slide in my DM and let me know. Girl, I need you to spill some tea on this. However, no one sent me this video. I actually came across this video by accident and I was rooting. I was here for it and I started to screen record because I'm like, I want to share this with my followers. We have a black man here. He's telling his story. Let's see what's going on, you know, and his title is why dark-skinned women are viewed as ugly. Let's check out his video and I'm gonna do my reaction to it and let you guys know how I feel throughout the video. Let's watch. Let me tell you a quick little story. I have a friend of mine, uh, dark-skinned sister, who is, well first, let me back up. I, I'm gonna be honest and transparent about my ignorance and my self-hate because for majority of my life, I, I found dark-skinned women unattractive. But majority of my life, I, I wouldn't even uh, deal with a dark-skinned woman at all. I wouldn't even look their way because I was brainwashed like many of us. So let's fast forward back to what I was talking about. And I okay, I mean, no surprise there. But thank you for admitting that you were once brainwashed. I'm glad you are now allegedly unbrainwashed. I'm glad. It's got to be open about my own my own issues because we need help, y'all. We need help. And I'm trying to help me. And as I'm helping myself, I'm helping you guys also. So I have a friend, a dark-skinned sister with very traditional African features, full lips. I don't want to call them big, but full lips, a full nose. And I never found I never found her attractive. I didn't I didn't I didn't think that she was attractive. I thought, you know, she was just another ugly dark-skinned woman. That sounds so ignorant. I hate that I felt like that, but right, that's what it was. Sometimes I just need to pause. Yeah, I know I'm a Pisces. I get real sensitive. I start having flashbacks. Sometimes I just gotta pause. Okay. Then one day, I saw her and, and she was natural. She went natural with her hair. And when she had her hair natural, like boom, all of a sudden, I recognized her beauty. And before I couldn't, I could not recognize her beauty in weaves and I couldn't recognize her beauty with her hair straightened. But when she went natural, it was like a glow. It was like something just different about her. And I was like, wow, a woman I didn't think was beautiful is now freaking beautiful to me. Aw, I wonder if she had 4C hair, cause y'all know how these black men do. I'll put a video in the link in the description. You know, they like natural hair unless it's 4C. If it's short and 4C, we can't do that. If there's anything in the threes, short or long, Keep it natural, baby. Keep it natural. And so when we look at like Lupita, Luongo, however you say her Love name, Lupita. they'll put her on the front of a magazine and they'll talk about her beauty. And the reason why they'll talk about okay, her so beauty, you Lupita, but not a... He rocking with the 4C. He rocking with it. Okay. A regular dark-skinned African in America is because Lupita is true to herself. And since she is true to her African hmm. features, her African roots... She's not judged by a different standard. So what happens with our dark-skinned sisters is when they want to wear the weave and, and, and they want to wear their hairs in European styles, they... I wonder what he means by European styles. Like, I have to Google that. I'll Google it and I'll put some images in because I don't know what he means by they that. They are putting themselves inside a European box and now they're being judged by a European standard. Uh -uh. 
And so it just doesn't look right on them. And now we we have this idea of what this European beauty is. And so it's practically impossible for some of our dark skinned sisters with Af with traditional African features to be considered beautiful according to how they're being judged. Because you cannot be anything if you're judged in the wrong category. Many of our women are just being judged from the wrong category and they've placed themselves in this category because of the way they are wearing their hair. Now, not only just the hair, understand, I'm not here to bash our women that want to wear weaves. If you want to wear weave, wear a weave. All I'm saying is understand that when you do something in a European fashion, you get judged by European standards. And this causes a lot of people to look at you as not beautiful. All right, see, 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 stop. Just stop. See, I was with you up until here, my brother. You had me going a little bit. Got my notes. We did not put ourselves into this category that you speak of, this European category. We didn't put ourselves into this category, okay? No black person ever woke up one day and said, hmm, straight hair just has to be better. Silky hair is better. I just want that. Nope, that's not what happened, okay? And in fact, even to this day, some black women literally cannot wear their natural hair in the workforce. Like, I don't understand sometimes these black men, they, they I don't know if they live in like the underworld and they just come out for a little while during like the sports season. Sometimes I really feel like y'all live in the underworld and y'all don't know what's going on in the upper world. Because it's levels to the shit, okay? It's levels to the shit. I think for the most part, black men just feel like, oh, y'all, when y'all wear weave, y'all just wanna be white. And there's so many more levels to it. As I said, some black women cannot even wear their natural hair in the workforce. Some black women don't know how to take care of their natural hair because since younger, they've been told that to be beautiful, you have to have this type of hair. Not only has this been enforced by women, but it's been enforced by men as well. Men will choose the girls with this type of hair. Men will choose the girls with this complexion. And a lot of people like to say, oh, well, who cares what men choose? Who cares what men choose? Um, Clearly, a lot of mofos do. Clearly, we care that we're not represented enough in the media. Clearly, we, we care. We care. Black men don't understand assimilation. Black men don't understand hair hate. Black men just don't understand because all they want to do is criticize and say, you shouldn't do this. You should do this. You should love yourself if you look like this. If you got hair like this, you should embrace your natural hair. But if your hair look like that, oh no, see, I don't, I don't, I don't, date, I don't date girls with natural hair like that. Y'all see my Black Men Hate 4C Hair video, I will link it in the description box and I will pin it to the comment section where it was literally black men and they showed the black men different women, different hair and no one picked 4C hair because to be honest, if it's not long, 4C hair is the least ideal hair. I love how it's so easy for men to be like, yo, just embrace your natural hair. You putting yourself in a European box. No, y'all put us in a European box. Literally, we were running from blackness because we were running into your arms, into what the white man told you what was beautiful. Black men and non-black women and black women who do not have type 4 hair like to literally live by this Good hair, bad hair. Good hair, bad hair. What's good hair? What's bad hair? And let's be real. Nobody wants to be the one that has bad hair. Nobody wants to be the one that's ugly. Like, come on. Like, we cute out here. Like, <laughs> if you are that person that's always being told your hair is bad, your hair is bad, you have to change your hair, you'll never get married, you'll never get a job, you'll never fit into society, what do you do? You straighten your hair, you do this to your hair, you manipulate your hair. Gauging you from a standard that you don't belong in. So now... We start getting ready to go. Not just the weave, but also our sisters with the makeup. Now, I don't have a problem with putting on a little bit of makeup. I don't have a problem with putting on a lot of makeup. What I do have a problem with, and what I think presents a problem with our people, is when our women are contouring their jawlines to make their jawlines look more European, or they're contouring their nose to make their nose look a little more thinner. Again, you're placing yourself inside a European standard and it doesn't fit. You don't fit. And I always thought it crazy like, wow, it will always be these pure African women walking down the runway. And they walking down the runway and everybody's calling them beautiful. So he mentioned models on the runway. And as someone who literally used to be a model on the runway, on many runways, 
he makes it seem like it's just like a paradise like oh you see those those african women on the runway look everyone thinks that they're beautiful look they're ideal beauty and they're natural and they're on the runway so you can do that too that's bullshit okay stop it first of all black models african models they have to be twice as thin they have to be twice as friendly and you have to look twice as non-traditional black to be even featured like what are you talking about and don't get it twisted a lot of those models are still told that they're ugly okay at the end of the day they have to come off those runways like their features might be fetishized in the the magazines and the vogue and this and that but they still have to get off those runways okay they still have to look for me they still have to live life and these women are still told that they're ugly oh my god you look like this you look like that where are you from so don't get it twisted and don't think just because they're on the runway that life is easy peasy keeny easy easy no it's not but then they turn around the same people who called them beautiful turn around and call dark-skinned sisters that's from America or that live in America that they're ugly when these sisters from Africa look just like them and the only difference is the sisters from Africa are true to their roots and when you are true art when you're true to your roots you get judged according to how you are supposed to look and not, not judged by according to how somebody else looks so it's impossible for a traditionally looking African woman to be beautiful if she's not being judged by her own beauty. That is not why people see dark skin as ugly. A lot of black men see dark skin as ugly because it's self-hate. Period. Do something in a European fashion, you'll get judged in a European standard. So... I love how he brought up European fashion and European fashion. Let's talk about some European fashion because black men, athletes, rappers, etc. Y'all just love European fashion, right? The Gucci's, the Prada's, the Louis, the Fendi's love European fashion. Y'all look up to all of these celebrities and their European fashion, literally European brands, shirts, sneakers, this, that, all owned by the white man, all European. Y'all look up to that. This is what y'all achieve to have all this designer European fashion. I've, I want to say I've never, I want to say I've never seen any of y'all that talk about weaves and wigs and black women wanting to wear, um, to wear European hair. I've never seen y'all promote any, any African owned brands. I've never seen y'all promote any black owned fashion brands. I've never seen y'all be like, yo, I got this Kente, yo, I got this Kente line, you know, my boy Amadou, he's selling these Kentes, they fly. Black owned, African owned, let's wear our own, stop doing this European shit. Only when it comes to hair, the European fashion, shouldn't, we shouldn't do European fashion when it comes to hair. I really love how he just summed it up to listen. You know, people think y'all ugly because y'all don't wear your natural hair and y'all wear makeup. Are you dumb? Are you kidding me right now? Everybody wears weave, everybody wears makeup. Like, what are you talking about, bro? Like, that is absolutely not why people see, why people attribute dark skin with ugliness or dark skin with masculinity. That's absolutely false. Like, false. Because even in our natural state, we'll get shitted on. Even in our natural state, we'll get told, oh, you have bad type hair. Even in our natural state, oh, you're too dark. Even in our natural state, oh, you're, this is too big. This is too much. I don't like this. I don't like this. Uh, no, that's ugly. That's not cute. That's not cute. It has nothing to do with our hair. It could be natural as natural come. If you hate yourself, black men, you will hate black women. Don't listen to this man, okay? He, 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 he underworld. They underworld. That's going to be our little cold. You underworld. You not, you not here. Y'all let me know what y'all thought of this video. I'm clearly triggered as per usual, right? I was with him in the beginning. He just, he just, he just, the roller coaster. You started hating black women at the bottom. You came up and then you made excuses as to why people think we ugly, which this video was not it. I'm gonna go, I ain't gonna go in on them. After 20 minutes of going in on them. <laughs> I ain't even gonna go in on them like that. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Okay. Why do you think? Dark skinned women are often portrayed as masculine or uglier than light skinned women. And does it have anything to do with our hair? Please, somebody explain this to me because I didn't I didn't get that. As per usual, thumbs up this video. Subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. You know you wanna do it. You know you wanna do it. Hey y'all. You know you wanna do it. Subscribe to my channel, it's okay, it's free, and I'll see you at the next one. Yeah.